Hi, in this video, we're talking microphones. I spent a long time looking for the right microphone. I went through Comica, Didi, another Comica, and I was never happy with the sound that I was getting with these mics. So after a couple years of this battle, I think I found the right one. I asked one of my friends to see if he's happy with his microphone, which he's got the Rode Mic Pro. It's Chris, you guys know him from the channel. So he really recommended that microphone to me. After I talked to him, I started doing my research, and then I went on to YouTube to watch some gear videos, watched a few Video Mic Pro videos, and then the algorithm did something. It served me with another microphone. I kept on seeing the Rode Mic NTG videos, so I checked majority of them out. And after watching those videos, it didn't take me too long to convince myself that this is the right microphone for me. And it's boomed right here. And I have to say, this isn't an official review you video, I'm just gonna talk about some of the stuff that I like and don't like about this microphone. After unboxing this microphone, I noticed that the build quality is pretty decent. I think for the price, it's pretty good. This mic also has a really good sound quality. It sounds really rich. Let's do a little comparison. This is what it sounds like with the microphone. And this is what it sounds like without the Rode Mic NTG. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. So let's talk about some of the key features that I like with this microphone. So like we talked about, the build quality seems decent. Next thing I like about this microphone is that it's USB chargeable, which means you don't have to worry about batteries. A full charge will take you through 30 hours of recording time. And what I like about the way this microphone powers on is that it does it by itself. As soon as you plug in this microphone to your camera, and turn on your camera, this mic will turn on by itself. There are so many times I missed the audio on a shot because I forgot to turn on my mic. This microphone will save that trouble for you. The next cool thing that I like is the gain knob. See, microphones usually have like negative 20, negative 10, zero, plus 10, plus 20, that sort of thing. Having a gain knob gives you more control over your sound. Although it's really nice to set your own volume, sometimes you may not notice that you're actually clipping. Clipping means that you're either too loud or or too quiet and it's really hard to recover the audio from that. This microphone has really cool features that will allow you to get the perfect audio. The first obvious one is the clipping alert. So if your sound is too loud, the microphone will give you a red light on the clipping bar and then you can bring your volumes down. The second cool feature is the safety channel, which this is what it does. So your sound is actually recorded on two different channels. What it's gonna do is it's gonna keep one channel lower than the second one. So let's say you were just really clipping and it sounded really bad, you can just use the second channel that's recorded a lot lower. So yes, these are the features that I like. I'm all about simplicity. I want gear that's gonna make my shoot day easier for me. So Rode NTG with its sound quality, with all the safety features that it comes with, just meeting at a good size and build quality wins me for this mic. I want the stuff that I carry to be built nicely. Something simple as your input socket not being good quality can ruin a shoot for you after like a year of owning that microphone. So that happened to me. Right now with the way that this microphone looks and feels, it very much looks like it's gonna be durable. And I will definitely make follow-up videos to see how the quality is keeping up. I'm for sure gonna boom this mic for my interview style recordings as well. Now, there are two things that I don't love about this microphone. Well, I guess both of them are not really about the microphone itself. Firstly, the microphone doesn't come with a wind filter, AKA a dead cat. Don't really know why that's the case, but I know they sell them separately. So you can order a wind filter if you're actually needing it. And secondly, and this could be something that I am doing, but I've seen this happen to another friend, is that the hot shoe mount kinda comes loose sometimes. I've gotta find a trick so that it never comes loose. You know, these things are really hard to turn tight. If you are planning on getting the Rode Mic NTG, make sure that your hot shoe mount is nice and tight. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you were able to get something out of it. If you're looking for a good shotgun mic, the Rode Mic NTG might be for you. I will be implementing more gear videos onto the channel as long as I find all this gear to be intentional and if I think it's gonna serve you telling a better story. And for this case, audio is 50% of what you create. Either videos, either films. I've struggled with recording audio, especially in this setting, because my place isn't really soundproof. So the struggle has kind of been real. Anyways though, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.